So is Tymera a high investment unit? Do you really need to give her Sigurd a brave weapon and all this other stuff to make her viable? I don't think you do. Honestly, she just needs Ike and a decent weapon and unlocking speed plus three to speed plus four and she'll be fine. So let's outline how she can be used. So in this map, we have a choke point. Now any tank can really go here because there's no mages, but Tymera is another unit who can tank. So all you need to do, use make use of her high defense. You can engage on Ike and then just sit there with a javelin and counterattack everything at one and two range. Now in this case, the choice is yours. it might not really make sense for her to have the javelin equipped because there's a longbow that's about to shoot her. You don't know that, but I know that. So I'm going to just manipulate her weapons really quick. So she can just do this. All right. So she'll counterattack with her silver. So here she is holding down this position. Now she can trigger Sandstorm on counterattack, like so. So now that enemy is basically dead. And it's really nice to be able to counterattack and trigger Sandstorm to avoid doubling to tank physical and magical, taking half damage on top of her decent res. Her res isn't insane, but it's definitely better than your average tank. So having half damage on top of that, and also she gets plus five defense and res because of Ike, but her and Ike actually make a lot of sense. And she has access to some interesting things. So I can start trying to poke some of these enemies. This enemy in particular, right here, reduces her speed. Now that's rare, like there aren't very many enemies that do that, but I'm gonna target this. Let's try to get a sandstorm trigger on him early, bye bye. if I can. All right, I got a crit, I'll take it. So then we dance. And I also don't have the speed plus three or anything on Sadal yet, he's only level 21 now. So he doesn't boost her yet. He's still a little under leveled. All right, so we still should get a sandstorm again, ideally. There it is. All right, cool. I fight for my friends. <laughs> I, fight, <laughs> I fight for my friends. <laughs> That's what Ike always says. All right, now let's watch her not die this time, barely. Now, I haven't used a Seraph Robo on her, but if you plan on using her as one of your tanks, you easily can. In the map you get her, the game hands you a Seraph Robe, so using her as a tank with a Seraph Robe is reasonable. All right, so let's watch her counterattack all these guys. All right, I think she didn't get a sandstorm. Or this, I think this is the one she got a sandstorm on. Yeah, so she straight up kills that one. Levels up. Some more speed, dex, and HP. So just Timera was able to counterattack and kill a lot of enemy units at two range because of sandstorm. And yes, she's almost dead, but if you just use like a Seraph robe on her, if you put her, like I could have moved her back a tile and she wouldn't be in as much danger. Like I think one or two less enemies could have hit her. So she doesn't, like she took on that much pressure and killed, let's see, how many things did she kill? Let's see. <laughs> so she killed two on enemy phase. This one's almost dead. This one has some health missing. He's definitely not almost dead. But you can see the advantage of using her to hold a position. Now this is under extreme pressure. In most cases, she'll be holding something against like two or three enemies and she can easily tank those. But even against all these enemies, she was able to tank them. They have silver weapons and decent offensive stats. So she's pretty good. She's a pretty good unit. All right, so I can have someone heal her. Now, if you have Cantor, you don't have to use physics here. You can just heal and then Cantor, which would be better and much cheaper. I'm just doing this because this playthrough, I'm not running cancer at all. All right, so I can stab this guy. I take five damage on counterattack, which really isn't that much. There's a sandstorm, so it's lethal outright. 43 damage hit. So sandstorm on enemy phase, it will trigger. It's just a matter of um, time, essentially, because they there's so many attacks coming her way that it will happen. All right, and then here, what she can do uh, she can equip a javelin, and she can also do like passive things, like just sit there, use a vulnerary, equip a javelin, stuff like that. So she'll counterattack this, potentially sandstorm and kill it. She cannot counterattack that because it's a longbow. 
but she is holding down this entire front with very little investment on my part. I didn't use, I think the only stat boosters I used on her were like two dex books, which I usually don't use on other units. So I kind of consider those bad items, kind of like Talisman. It's like a little bit better than Talisman. Like if it weren't for Sandstorm and things like Sandstorm and all the dex trigger abilities, I really don't value skill books too highly. Uh, but if you want the Sandstorms to come out as much as humanly possible on counterattacks, you're going to want to get her some dex. So dex books, you can run Seraph Robe on her. I haven't used a Seraph Robe on her, but if I did, she'd be more tanky. Uh, you can use things that increase def like defense. Her Ike Bond level is only at 11. If you max this out, I believe you get defense plus 5. So that also makes her tankier. And I think it increases her health as well. So Ike increases her strength, her defense, and her... Um, I'm sorry, just those three things. But it increases her survivability and her base damage output, which is definitely helpful. It doesn't increase her dex. Um, Sigurd is really good for attacking. I would say Ike is really good for defending. So that's the difference between the two of those. But yeah, that's it for this one. I just wanted to show Timera being a physical tank, you know. And she also can tank magic a little bit better than some of the tanks because, you know, decent res plus half damage. She doesn't get doubled. Like if you were to throw Ike on a tank, it would still get doubled. She doesn't get doubled by enemy mages. And eventually her speed, like once you level her up more, her speed starts to snowball a little bit and then she starts doubling things pretty consistently. So this is a more bruiser enemy phase oriented Tamara. And I think this is the way the game intended on her being used is like an off tank or just like a tanky damage unit that counterattacks frequently. So yeah, that's it for this one. Definitely like and subscribe if you found this useful or interesting. And feel free to drop a comment if you have any interesting builds for any units, and I'll see you in the next one.